We're taking a live look now out over Mount Clemens. It seems like the sun is finally coming up. Thank you again for waking up with us this morning. We take a look now at our forecast with seven first alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel and Hallie. It's looking like we're going to have a pretty good Sunday ahead of us. Absolutely. It's so nice to see a beautiful sunrise, and I think we can count on a beautiful sunset <laughs> as far as the weather goes. So we are seeing little in the way of cloud cover really pushed out with the cold front yesterday. Behind it, though, cooler than average temperatures, and it looks like it's going to stick around for most of the week. So temperatures go up one day, and that'll bring in the chance for rain, too, and that looks to be Tuesday. We talk about our sunrise at 6.53 is official sunrise time at 8.16 is when you can anticipate sunset. Well, right now we're at 55 degrees as the sun is trying to uh, wake up and look at 50 right now for a dew point and north wind at six miles per hour. 55 are low so far this morning. We want to look at those averages. 62 is an average low and we really have seen average lows in recent days even above that. But on the high side, we've been struggling. So 80 is an average high. I think we'll get to about 70, maybe a little bit above today. While 98 is the record, that record set back in 1940. 48. 54 degrees in Ann Arbor, 53 in Pontiac. It is 48 degrees. What a cool start for Lapeer and Port Sanilac. Dew points were in the 60s yesterday. We talk about 60s as kind of that limit for our comfort. Once we get into the 60s, it starts to feel pretty sticky. We were there yesterday. Now very low. 40s and 50s signifying a very dry air mass. And when we look at the region, we're really hard to pick out not only the cloud cover, but the rain had to look far back to our north and west through Minnesota to see any rain at all. So 44 Four degrees in Alpena. I want to show you also kind of pushing all that heat down to the south. 68 degrees in Chicago, still a little warm. 57 in Minneapolis, but nothing like certainly we've been dealing with here in the recent weeks, uh, past weeks really. 39 degrees in Marquette, 46 degrees Sault Ste. Marie, so the cool air following the cold front. We look at highs today, 80s from Memphis to Oklahoma City, still the big heat for Texas down through the Gulf states, but notice how that is being pushed a little bit further south, a little bit more common for this time of the year when we see that a big heat dome starting to head south. Northeast winds today about 5 to 10 miles per hour. When we have a northeast wind, it makes things a little cool for those that live near Port Huron, so you're going to expect your temperatures cooler than anywhere inland. What a beautiful afternoon, though, for a game. The Tigers, a 141st pitch, temperatures at near 7. It looks like pretty steady throughout the game with a lot of sunshine. So there's the high pressure feature I was talking about. This will glide across lower Michigan as we head into the day tomorrow. So anticipating another beautiful day to start the week. Cold front comes down from the north, scattered showers and storms associated with that front on Tuesday. And it looks like we're going to head into the afternoon with scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms on Tuesday too. Something we'll be watching for a little of that wet weather. Back to today with the north to northeast wind, keeping it cooler for Port Sanilac, Port Huron, close to the lakeshore, 70 to 73 for inland areas, 75 tomorrow. And then we'll be in the upper 70s for Tuesday. It doesn't last long because we cool down by Wednesday.